Hello friends, today we shall discuss selection of grade of bitumen for road construction. More than 95% of road infrastructure in India is of flexible pavement type and in a flexible pavement typically top 2 to 3 layers are generally bitumen layers and their thickness can be 150 mm to 250 mm. Bitumen layers cost more than 70% of total pavement as these layers require good quality of aggregate, denser grading and high quality binder. The decision on binder grade is generally made by the pavement designer based on the design guidelines. And historically, these design decisions were considered independently on the basis of anticipated traffic and climatic conditions. However, in reality, multiple trade-offs could be made among these design variables. For example, it may be possible to number one, improve pavement thermal cracking resistance and that can be achieved either by specifying a thicker pavement or by selecting a binder with better low temperature properties or to improve pavement fatigue resistance and again by specifying either a thicker pavement or a binder with better fatigue resistance. And third is to improve rutting resistance by specifying either a more angular aggregates or a binder with better high temperature properties. So in all these three cases, role of binder becomes extremely important. And the selection of binder grade becomes important for performance of the road or the pavement. Bitumen is a complex material because its behavior changes with temperature. And at low temperature, its behavior is completely elastic and at high temperature, its behavior is completely viscous. And between low and high temperature, the behavior of bitumen is viscoelastic. Bitumen is a non-Newtonian fluid in the temperature range expected during life of the pavement. That means viscosity changes with rate of shear. And it is truly Newtonian at temperature more than 135 degrees centigrade. Now, viscosity of the binder changes with rate of shear and rate of shear will change with either temperature or loading condition. This table summarizes the behavior of bitumen in different field conditions experienced by a pavement during its entire life. At low temperature, the binder has high tensile strength and high shear strength. At high temperature, the binder will have low tensile strength and low shear strength. At slow traffic, the tensile strength is not affected, but shear strength will be low. And similarly, at fast traffic, the tensile strength will not be affected, but shear strength will be very high. And there are two types of binders in road construction. One is normal viscosity grade binder, which we specify as VG10, VG20, VG30 or VG40 or it can be modified binders and modification can be either through polymer or through crumb rubber or natural rubber. Some guidelines can be taken from this table for selection of the viscosity grade binder depending upon 7 day average maximum temperature. If it is less than 30 degree VG10 is most suitable type of binder. If it is 30 to 37 VG20 can be used. If it is more than 45 degrees centigrade, then VG40 must be used. And it also depends upon the stress conditions in the field. VG40 generally adopted in a highly stressed area such as very heavy traffic loads, near intersections, toll booth, truck parking loads. VG30 is suggested for paving in most of India in lieu of 60-70 penetration grade. VG20 is used for paving in cold climate, high altitude region of North India and VG10 is generally used in spraying applications such as surface dressing and for paving in very cold climate in lieu of old 80 by 100 penetration grade. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has recently issued a circular in April 2024 providing some guidelines for selection of binder in different conditions of expected traffic 
and maximum surface temperature of the pavement. This is the column which indicates maximum pavement temperature and this maximum temperature is measured 20 mm below the pavement surface. This is the minimum pavement temperature at surface T surface and this is the mixed type and this is the traffic conditions. Traffic loading computed for 20 year period that means design traffic. Now, if the maximum pavement temperature is less than or equal to 58 degrees centigrade and minimum pavement surface temperature is more than or equal to 22 minus 22 degrees centigrade, then for a layer of bitmus concrete, VG30 can be used for all traffic conditions. And in case of DBM, whether it is used in upper layer or lower layer or maybe a single layer, VG30 is suggested. When the temperature is, maximum temperature is more than 58, but less than or equal to 64 degrees centigrade, and minimum temperature is more than minus 10, then in that case, SMB can be adopted. PMB 64 minus 10 basically means performance grade binder, PG 64 minus 10 for traffic more than 50 MSC. Now, GGRB here is gap graded rubberized bitumenous mix which is generally used when traffic is more than 50 MSA and bitumenous concrete is to be used in such cases with VG40 for traffic up to 50 MSA and PMB 64 minus 10 or CRMB 55 for traffic more than 50 MSA. For traffic more than 150 MSA CRMB60 must be utilized. And similarly, for other temperatures, when temperature is maximum pavement temperature is more than 64, but limited to 70 degree centigrade, and minimum pavement temperature is more than or equal to minus 10 degree centigrade, then that is how you should select the type of binder or grade of binder. And when it is more than 70 and less than or equal to 76, then it is the guidance given here. VG40 can be used for low traffic conditions, otherwise you go for performance grade binder like PMB76-10 or CRMB60 or it can also be PG76-10 for upper layer of DBM and high performance mixes for perpetual payments. So these are the guidelines as given in MORTS circular of April 19-2024. Now here in this table, there are two terms. One is maximum pavement temperature, which is measured at 20 millimeter below the surface. And another is minimum pavement temperature, that is your surface temperature. Now these temperatures are estimated using these equations. T20 millimeter is given by T air max minus 0 0.00618 into latitude square. Now LAT here is latitude. And this T air max is the average of seven day maximum air temperature. And latitude is geographical latitude of the site in degrees. And the surface temperature is given by this equation 0 0.859 into minimum air temperature plus 1.7. And T air minimum is the lowest air temperature of a, of a year in degree centigrade. Now, for example, if you take the case of Delhi, the Delhi is situated at 28.7 degree of north and 77.1 degree of east. So the latitude of Delhi is 28.7 degree lying in northern hemisphere. So latitude is 28.7 and let us assume that maximum air temperature of Delhi is 44.87 during summer that is 7 days maximum air temperature and minimum air temperature is 2.6 degrees centigrade. So with these data, if you calculate what would be the pavement temperature 20 millimeter below surface using this equation, now here T air max is 44.8 and latitude is 28.7. So you can calculate the T20 millimeter as 66.67 degrees centigrade. And similarly, you can find out the surface temperature 0.859 into T air minimum and T air minimum is 2.6 and therefore this is 3.9 degree centigrade.
Now with these values of T20 mm and T surface, you enter the table which is provided in MORTS circular. Now the temperature of Delhi now lie in this region. More than 64 but less than 70 degrees centigrade and minimum temperature at surface is more than minus 10 degrees centigrade. So for BC layer and for a traffic of let us say 50 to 150 MSA, we should choose a grade of binder which is 70 minus 10. That is your PG grade or you can also use CRMB 60. Now in case of DBM, if traffic is for all traffic conditions, it is suggested to use VG40 V2. That is how we select the binder for a particular layer depending upon the traffic conditions and climatic conditions. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.